Welcome to University PubNub 102 Access Manager. We'll be talking about why security is important, the difference between authentication and authorization. We'll be walking through and concluding with a few code write-ups. And yeah. All right. Imagine that you're at a concert, you're in a line, and you're approaching the bouncer at the door. You need a, an access token of some sort, some sort of verification that says you're allowed to enter the concert and enjoy your fun time. Where do you get that, that, that ticket, right? You need to be granted access. PubNub Access Manager allows you a grant API and a revoke API that will allow you to generate a, a secret ID. So that's essentially your token. And this is a very long session ID, essentially, unpredictable string that then you can present to the bouncer. He'll look up your information in a database. If it all looks good, you're in. Not only does the ticket have a little bit more information about where you're seating, but also how long you can stay. Now you can enter and enjoy your fun time. That's essentially what Access Manager does on the entry. Now we're going to talk about auth keys. In PubNub, when you initialize your SDK, you're able to pass the client an auth key upon an initialization. And now that will give it access to read or write on specific channels. So an auth key is essentially whatever you want it to be. It's an unpredictable long string token. Imagine your session ID is uh, equivalent. During your authentication process, when a client connects uh, to your server and passes uh, credentials such as email and password, then you generate a session ID. At that point, you'll also generate the PubNub access token. And uh, that can be anything you want. We recommend a long, unpredictable string. When you pass back the payload for the client to remember the session ID, you'll also pass back the auth, the auth token for the client. The client will then use that to connect uh, on PubNub for read and write access on a PubNub channel based on the TTL that you've provided. And this sort of authentication mechanism is uh, compatible with all other um, methods such as Twitter OAuth and Facebook OAuth and your own custom uh, connector.